Five minutes to change the world. Faja Sharif. For this eighth edition of the Forbes Women Africa Leading Women Summit, we are very happy to have as our guest Haja Sharif, the Libyan peace activist. She co-leads the work of the Together We Build It organization in Libya that promotes women and youth participation in peacemaking. As a 29-year-old in 2021, she was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. Hajar, very happy to have you, have you here with us speaking at the Leading Women Summit. Thank you so much for having me. I'm very excited to be here. So Hajar, let me start off. You were a part of the civil unrest in Libya in 2011, and that's when you started your organization, Empowering Women as Political Actors. You played a part in Libya's peace building process. So my question to you is, as a young person, to the other young persons in this audience today, if you were given five minutes, what would your advice be to them to change the world? Well, you know, this is a very important question. And to be completely honest, I wish if this is a question that many of us got, you know, in, in our exams, in our tests that we had at school, because this is something that should be nurtured um, at an early stage um, for, for all citizens around the world, you know. Um, but for me, what, what really matters is the why, right? Like, why should someone become active? Why should someone aspire to make a situation better, whether for themselves, for their society, for their country, or, or even for the whole world? The answer is very simple, because we deserve it. You know, every human being on this planet deserves to live in peace, deserves to enjoy their human rights, their fundamental human rights, and deserves to aspire as well, right? Um, I strongly believe that people who experience armed conflicts, uh, societies that experience um, really difficult situations, these are not situations that are chosen by the people who live them, by the people who suffer them. These are situations that people sometimes are born into or situations that they find themselves living for, for whatever reason it is. And therefore, it is very important that if you are someone, especially if you are a young person who is from a society or lives in a country that is going through hardship, it is very important for you to be active from a very early stage at your life. Because here is, here is the situation in very simple words, you know. Living in a society, living in a country, you should treat the society or the country or our shared planet as your own home. You know, you care about your home, you care about the members of your family. So you should do the exact same thing towards others, towards your society and towards your country. So my advice to young people is that you need to become active. You need to be engaged in politics. Politics is not something that is distant from our lives, you know, it, it might appear that way, it might look that way. But in reality, politics is something that affects each one of us, regardless of your gender, your race, your ethnicity, your religion, your age. Politics does not discriminate. And that's why it's extremely important that young people become politically active. You need to voice your opinions. You need to try to be an activist. You don't need to be a full-time activist. You don't need to do this as your full-time job. You can be an accountant and still be an activist. You can be a doctor and still be an activist, but you must engage. One thing that I hear a lot sometimes from young people and unfortunately women, a phrase that provokes me the most is when I say, you know, you need to be engaged in politics. And then the response I get is that politics is dirty, is a dirty world. I don't want to engage in this. Well, if you think politics is a dirty world, then engage and find a way to clean it up. Because politics, again, does not discriminate. It affects our lives and we have to be politically active in order for us to ensure that our rights are protected, but to also ensure that other people enjoy their rights and their human rights. This is, this is in a nutshell what I will tell every young person to do. Become politically active. <laughs> 